Hello, it is July 4th. I am very excited for this reading prompt. This was suggested by another ACE writer, Kaylin, and I'm going to link to her writing in the description, so absolutely check that out. So the prompt is to write about a character who hears about asexuality and has that light bulb moment. And, you know, this is why I'm really happy I didn't just make all the prompts myself, because I didn't have a light bulb moment, and I didn't and I mainly interact with, you know, talking to people who are new to Avon and are uncertain. And, you know, I'll console them that, like, yeah, it's hard to be uncertain. A lot of us feel uncertain. But I really wasn't very aware of, like, some people just, it clicks. So I'm really excited to write a scene between my perspective of it took me 10 years for it to click and another character who just hears it and it clicks right away. I think that's going to be really fun. And for the dice, I rolled 121, another palindrome, and it is underground history. So for this one from the 3AM Epiphany by Brian Kitely, you uh, take an older piece of fiction you've written and either through reading it or putting it in a, through a word counter. I have Scrivener, so I was able to just um, do the text to text statistics and get the word frequency, uh, ignore the kind of smaller words like a, the, and, and find seven words. The words I found were letters, no, as in to know something, who, imagine, maybe, read, and say. So then I take those seven words and I use them as hidden titles for seven paragraphs. So that means that I know that that's the title of the paragraph, but I don't share that with the reader. Um, so that will be interesting. I don't feel like that will directly impact the like light bulb moment. That I feel like this is going to be tricky, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. And for the Rory Story Cubed, I r rolled a shooting star. So maybe they'll be stargazing and having this conversation, stargazing in a non-romantic way. This is going to be fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.